Hey girls, I'm Robin and I have my PhD in chemical engineering. Uh, we can talk about what I do for my job when you're of legal drinking age. But as a scientist, I run a lot of different experiments. So I've got a neat experiment for you to try at home. We are going to explore what makes markers have different colors. What you'll need for this experiment is water-based markers, a pencil, coffee filters or paper towels cut into about an inch thick strips. You'll need some tape, a clear glass, and some water. First, you're going to draw a line with a pencil about an inch above the bottom of the strips. Make a dot in the middle of that pencil line using the black marker first and write black in pencil at the top of the strip. Tape the top of the strip to the marker perpendicularly and put a tiny bit of water in your cup that will just reach the bottom of the strip under the pencil line. Place the strip in the cup, resting the marker on the rim and watch the water carry the ink as it travels up the paper towel. Be patient and wait till the water travels all the way up to the top of the strip. Repeat this for all the colors you want to test and hang the strips to dry. Next, analyze your results. What do you notice? What ink colors are in the black marker? How far does each ink color travel up the strip? What happens if you repeat the experiment with different marker brands? Do the results differ? What about other marker colors? Which ones are made up of other ink colors? Now, what you've just done is used a method called chromatography to separate the different inks that are blended to make the marker color. And I, along with many other scientists, use chromatography all the time to find out what different mixtures are made of. Remember, the most important thing about science is to stay curious. So repeat this marker experiment to investigate whatever you're curious about and let me know what you find out.